Welcome to this edition of Supercharger Travel. Now, while I tried to focus mostly just on superchargers, I do make the occasional exception for high-powered stations placed in strategically good areas. One of those just happens to be Kismet Falls slash Crater Lake, Oregon. Now, the closest supercharger is Mount Shasta, 80 miles away by road, uh, close, like 72 by the crow, way the crow flies. However, the problem becomes you're driving through the mountains. To get here, uh, I came from a different direction. It was like a hundred and, I started with a full 100% battery. It was about 130 miles to get here, and I almost exhausted my battery. I had, well, I had 40 miles left when I arrived to Kismet Falls. Just to show you, it's non-stop let's put it this way uphill 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 and but I did manage to do five straight minutes of non-stop downhill regeneration that just gives you a rough idea of the altitude that you're going through and that just it still slaughtered the battery going up because there are this is a pretty breezy windy area out here anyways we are here at the University Oregon Tech University's uh, one of their little uh, Oregon Institute of Technology. It's literally across the street. I could throw a baseball and break one of their windows. Uh, we're in one of their little sub parking lots, and they have a 80 amp, 80 amp uh, Sun Country Highway station. Uh, apparently, Sun Country Highway is now heading down into the states, not just sticking to California, uh, Canada. There we go escapes my mind for a minute. Anyways, uh, it's 80 amp and 70 amp. Uh, how this one, they apparently work now, is uh, you plug it in, it starts off at 70 amp. Once the car starts and the green light on the station starts flashing, hit the start button. You don't have to hit the start button just to start charging, but if you hit the start button, it'll bump it up to 80 amp, specifically for the Teslas, as at this time, Teslas are the only cars that can charge at those speeds. What are you doing? He's driving me nuts this whole trip. Uh, anyways, um, I'm getting just a hair under a mile a minute of range back. So I figured get some work done. I have about 20 packages to do. Oh, I sit down. I thought you were supposed to be the smart one. Let's Push. Lots to do here. You got Crater Lake, you got Train Mountain, lots of little campgrounds, uh, Oregon Institute of Technology, if you so desire. Uh, they have a nice little downtown area, lots of different restaurants. Uh, personally, we liked uh, old time pizza, and it really was older style pizza. Vinny, leave that in my window. That's to keep the sun out, otherwise, you're going to get too hot. Uh, Vinny doesn't want to leave the car, he's just kind of lounging in his, in his car seat. And, snoozing. We had a long day at Train Mountain yesterday. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is a great location to stop for uh, charging up. There is a, a Tesla high-powered wall charger uh, at uh, Crater Lake Resort. I'd have to double check on that. Uh, it's only 13 kilowatts, uh, however. And uh, it's free if you stay there. However, we couldn't get a room. They were booked up solid. Uh, if you're not staying, they're charging, I think uh, the lady on the phone said $10 per hour. Slightly, insanely high price. So you stay there for five, yeah, we'll say four hours just to get a, whole, a full charge is 40 bucks. Comparable to a tank of gas, yeah, it's good. Uh, however, it's still, they're making a crap load of money on that, that station for people not staying there. Well, at least this one's free. Um, Oregon Institute of Technology has a absolutely freaking massive solar array. Uh, so technically I'm charging off solar power right now. So today my, my car is solar. Yesterday it was hydroelectric. Uh, back, in, back home it was coal and on some days nuclear. Can't complain too much. Talk about flex fuel vehicles, right Gino? It's just cooking. Cooking, yes. Alright, barbecue time. Daddy. Smile, cheese.